Pennsylvania recently. And uh, this spring we found some more, which is always really nice. And what's so interesting about this place we excavated was an island uh, 68 million years ago. And the, it's a really strange situation because you know, those of you know, who know something about in biology, they call it island effects. Whenever you go to an island, you find little weirdo stuff. So like, you, know, you find things in Madagascar, like the elephant birds that were there before, or, you know, people got there and killed them all. Uh, all the weird stuff in Hawaii, the Galapagos, and the animals that we find in, um, in Transylvania are shell island effects. So we find sauropod dinosaurs, and the traditional dinosaurs with long necks, long tails. That, uh, their closest relatives are 30 meters, so it's like 100 feet long. As adults, they're only 20 feet long. So they show this dwarfing. We see the same kind of thing in the Channel Islands here in California with the elephants, where the, there's elephants that were there up until about 8,000 years ago that uh, were only four feet tall as adults. So that's an island effect. And we see that in uh, Transylvania. And in addition to having all these like dwarf big dinosaurs, we have these gigantic terraces. And it, uh, so it's just a very, very, very unusual situation. And it's, uh, you know, every time we go, it's uh, another adventure to try to collect them. And it's, it's one of the, it's kind of like the Gulf Sun on Camper. It's not like the Gobi Desert where it's super hard because it, there's the one big cliff where we collect a lot of the terraces out of. And we fly a drone back and forth on the cliff and see if we see any bones. And then if we see bones, then we climb to the top, fix the ropes, and then the cliff's about 600 feet tall, and then we rappel down and collect them on the face of the cliff. And, and, and it's not like Gobi Desert, we have to go back to the squall camp, and it's hotter than hell, and cook dinner, and sleep under the truck. We go stay in this old castle, and have great wine and showers. <laughs> And are you working with a lot of local scientists? Yeah, I have a great, both in Mongolia as well as in Romania, great local teams. Uh, uh, Matias Reimer, uh, Radu Tutanova, and Kavan Pop uh, are fantastic climbers, fantastic expeditioners, and we've really been able to like, kick it pretty hard over the last five years.